You're gonna find there are times in your life where you need a coach for entrepreneurial purposes. You're gonna find there's a time you need a coach for productivity. You're gonna find there's time you need a coach for balance. And sometimes you're gonna need a coach for working on yourself. Hello there, orthopreneurs, and welcome to another episode of your Five Minute Friday. So today, I wanna to talk about your personal development plan. Your what? Yeah, your personal development plan. Do you have a personal development plan? Do you know what you need? Do you know the areas in your life that you need to get better at? Now, you might say to me, Glenn, I've always wanted to run a marathon. Well, you just put on your shoes, you start running, that's one way. Or you could hire a coach to train you how to run a marathon safely, more effectively, to limit injury, to get better times. Um, or you could just go out and learn how to run a marathon, and I'm going to push through. And chances are, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. Chances are, you're going to have more injuries than you should. And almost guaranteed, your time will be lower than it should be. Hey, Glenn, I want to go learn martial arts. Great. You're going to go watch YouTube videos. You're going to go get a coach, a professor, whatever it is you want to have. Orthodontics, practice, life is no different. And you're going to find there are times in your life where you need a coach for entrepreneurial purposes. You're going to find there's a time you need a coach for productivity. You're going to find there's time you need a coach for balance. Uh, and sometimes you're going to need a coach for working on yourself i.e. a therapist, perhaps, uh, because there are things that a coach can't help with. And when push comes to shove, if you ask me the difference between a therapist and a coach, and I know there's technical definitions out there, I, I will tell you, I think everybody on the planet should go through therapy at some point for self-discovery, to do some deeper dives to understand what makes you tick. I will say, personally, I'm not a fan of long-term therapy. I, the therapists I've gone to have been great. I often feel like there's no resolution. Are you working on this? You know, how are you feeling? Well, that's a pretty open-ended question. And I think that we, we get better and we get better, but I found that my coaches have tended to ask more pointed corrections, help me get better changes in my life rather quickly. And um, again, at the end of the day, coach, therapist, doesn't matter to me, but what's your plan? Are you the kind of person who says, oh, I got this. I got a $3 million practice doing it at 40% overhead. I'm making tons of money. I'm killing it. Yeah, but... If you listen to, say, Arch Arthur C. Brooks in his book, Strength to Strength, if you listen to his most recent podcast episode, Rich Roll, Arthur C. Brooks is just a genius. And he talks about three things that you need to have in order to have a happy life. Now, happy is not an emotion. Right? People think it is. But happy is a feeling. It's, a, it's not an emotion you chase. And, um, you know, again, there's, there's three things. I'm not going to remember them off the top of my head. Uh, but, but one of them is you have to have some sort of satisfaction you have to have some sort of purpose, and you have to have enjoyment. Those are the three things. And enjoyment and pleasure are two different things. He describes it as pleasure is something you do by yourself. Uh, it can lead to addictive behavior. If it doesn't make memories and isn't with other people, uh, it's pleasure, not enjoyment. And enjoyment is what leads to health, uh, to happiness. Uh, there needs to be some sort of reward, if you will, meaning did you a struggle. Did you work hard or did you have the answers to the test beforehand? If you got the answers to the test, you're not going to get satisfaction. You'll get an A, but that's not really satisfaction. If you studied for the test and didn't have the answers, then you will get satisfaction. It doesn't last. That's why you're going to have to search to get more satisfaction. But um, do you have purpose? Do you know your reason for day to day? It's hopefully more than a hedonistic lifestyle. And so for those three things, I've always sought out coaches to help me define my purpose a little better, to help me better understand the road I'm on so that I can get that satisfaction or enjoyment along the way. Um, sometimes I need to become more productive to create more time in my life. Sometimes I get a little too unbalanced into one quadrant of my life. But hopefully, you're the kind of person who's taken stock of their life, and you might say to yourself, you know what? I'm spending way too much time with my family. Yeah, you heard me. You know my soapbox. You know, you're spending your Saturdays, your Sundays, you're at soccer, lacrosse, dance, gymnastics, ballet, and, uh, you know, with kids doing it all day long from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Then you go out to Chick-fil-A, you grab your dinner, or you go to some pizza joint or whatever it might be, and you're not eating well, you're not focusing on yourself, you're not getting meditative time. Sure, you spent 45 minutes working out in the morning. Hoorah, right? But, you know, every day at work, you, you finish your work, you come home, you do it with kids again. This is a common theme that I hear from many of you. And you're not spending the time that you need on you. You're not focusing on your alone time, on your meditative time, on your spiritual time, on your uh, health, your nutrition, your, your fitness. You define that as I ran eight miles today. Great. You ran eight miles. But what else did you do? Did you get out and see the sun? Did you walk around and, 
and, and focus on yourself? Did you disconnect from all electronics for a period of time? Did you, did you get away and disconnect from all people for a time? Did you have a real meaningful connection time with those who mean the most for you in your life? Are you spending time with friends? Like these are the questions you have to ask yourself. And if you're not there and you can't figure out how to get there, you need a, a, somebody, a coach to help you. You know, we're all used to coaches for fitness, but it's an unusual thing to ask for a coach for performance. And I've had an entrepreneurial coach who's helped me uh, with a lot of entrepreneurial stuff. I've had a personal coach who's helped me uh, better focus on life goals and things like that. I've had a coach who's helped me define my purpose better and how to, how to be more effective on a day-to-day -day basis. Things don't happen by accident, folks. When people text me or email me or message me and go, Glenn, you seem so productive. Yeah, you know, I just threw my hands up in the air and decided, you know, I'm just gonna figure it out on my own. And for some of you, very few of you, like ultra few of you, that might work. But the overwhelming majority of you could be happier, could be more fulfilled, could be more productive, could have more balance. And if you're the one saying, I don't need it, you're the one who does, okay? News flash. The one out there, the folks out there who think they're the most balanced, I see you. You're the least balanced. Um, you need to get your life in balance. And I'm not saying I'm perfectly balanced. I know right where I'm out of balance. I work with my coaches on it. Um, I focus on it every day. Uh, sometimes you focus more on health and fitness. Sometimes you focus more on family. Sometimes you focus on spirituality, right? Sometimes you focus on your friends and what have you. But um, definitely consider getting a coach. Where do you find them? Start asking your friends. Go online. Hey, everybody, I'm looking for a coach for X. Start joining. I belong to at least three you know, entrepreneurial mastermind groups that I had to pay to be a part of for years. And in there, I can find great coaches and people who point me in the directions of great coaches. So again, just want to put it out there for all of you. If you don't have a coach in your life, there's some really good ones out there. And beware of folks saying, oh, my coach is the greatest. Well, yeah, go interview them. Find out what they can do for you. You know, if using my marathon analogy, there's a difference between wanting to run a marathon and finish it, and there's a difference between wanting to run a marathon and, and break a certain time for your age group, right? I'm gonna get one coach who's gonna maybe be very gentle and kind and, and, and motivating to help me get running. Hey, Glenn, did you run today? No, well, let's run a little more this week, let's try. And then there's the ones who are gonna teach you to go from jogging to running, right? You're no longer jogging, you're training. And everything has a purpose. And trust me, folks, I've been on both of them. And, and jogging is fun. You know, running is fun. Training has a purpose. And when you wake up and you want to go for a run, it's great. When you wake up and you have to train, and you're not feeling great, it's different. So you need to find the right coach, the one who's going to dovetail with your life and make it work. So again, if you think you don't need one, you probably do. And uh, get out there, find somebody. Uh, I hope to see you at Orthopreneur Summit next year at C. There are some great speakers who can help motivate you and help you define your vision a little bit better. Um, go to opsummit2024.com. It's going to be a great time, I promise. Much love to each and every one of you. And if you need anything at all, just reach out to me.